Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Today I Found Out, and in the video today, we're looking at what was up with David Bowie's left eye. David Bowie was a man who reinvented himself countless times throughout his roughly half-century-long career. One thing that remained constant about Bowie's appearance, though, were his eyes. For anyone who doesn't have Bowie's likeness burned into their consciousnesses, the musician famously had one brown eye and one blue eye. Or at least it looked that way in pictures. You see, in actuality, both of Bowie's eyes were the exact same color, light blue, something that the singer himself quickly pointed out in interviews. So why did it often look like they were two different colors? Bowie suffered from a condition called anisocoria, which basically means that his pupils were unequally dilated. An estimated 20% of people have some form of anisocoria. In most cases, it is largely harmless. However, in Bowie's case, the dilation was extremely pronounced and resulted in limited vision in his left eye. Anisocoria can be caused by everything from a condition known as Horner's syndrome to a particularly bad migraine, though most people will simply be born with it. In fact, statistically, a lot of you reading this will suffer from a minor form of anisocoria that is barely noticeable without close examination. Finally, it's also possible to have anisocoria as a result of injury or trauma, which is actually what happened to Bowie. In 1962, when Bowie was just 15 years old, he got into a minor fistfight with a friend called George Underwood, who was a one-time bandmate of Bowie. The fight was over a girl that both boys had a crush on. When Bowie, who didn't know Underwood, also had a crush on her, was bragging to Underwood about, to quote, what a Casanova I was with her, Underwood, in his own words, was so aggrieved I walked over to him, basically turned him around, and went whack without even thinking. Unbeknownst to Underwood, this act damaged the muscle in Bowie's left eye, responsible for contracting his iris, leaving it permanently dilated. Now, people get punched in the face all the time with no permanent damage, so why was Bowie's case quite so different? Well, as the singer himself would later state, it wasn't a very hard punch, but obviously caught me at a rather odd angle. Underwood's fingernail actually scratched the surface of Bowie's eye, damaging the aforementioned muscle within it. Despite efforts to save the sight in his left eye by physicians, he was left with permanently impaired vision, with Bowie describing it as very hazy. Further, his pupil remained dilated for the rest of his life. Bowie would further explain in an interview that the fact that his left pupil was constantly dilated sometimes gave the impression that it was a different colored eye. Pictures of the singer only played into this idea since high contrast photos, especially those taken with flash or in a well lit studio, tended to emphasize the difference in the size of his pupils. Functional pupils being one to contract in bright light and all that. This gave the illusion that his right eye was dark brown or even jet black, depending on the photo and lighting. The left eye was also more prone to the red eye effect in cameras, further making pictures of him look as if his eyes were markedly different. The fact that Bowie's eyes were naturally a very light shade of blue also helped highlight the difference, leading to rumors that he suffered from heterochromia or even wore different colored contact lenses as part of his carefully tailored look. Neither was true, and Bowie was always quick to point out that his eyes looked that way because of a childhood injury. Since Bowie grew up to be a legendary rock star where his ability to see wasn't as important as how cool he looked, he claimed the injury actually ended up being mildly beneficial to his career. Some of the most famous images of Bowie highlighted the condition and the singer himself was only too happy to take photos that emphasized his eyes, all of which fueled, as Bowie called it, the mystique around his name and image. In fact, Bowie was so aware of how much of a boon his condition had been to his career that he reportedly ultimately thanked Underwood for hitting him. On top of quickly forgiving the man who cost him much of the sight in one eye, the two men remained lifelong friends, with Underwood even providing artwork for some of Bowie's early albums. And now for some bonus facts. In 2004, while performing in Oslo in Norway, Bowie was hit in the left eye by a lollipop thrown by a fan. The candy missile was thrown with such force that the stick became lodged in the singer's eye. Not joking here. After having the lollipop removed from his eye socket by a member of security, Bowie told the gathered crowd, you're lucky it hit the bad one, before finishing the concert. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And do not forget to subscribe. Brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, let me thank our patrons on Patreon. If you would like to join them in supporting us with a small and voluntary financial contribution, please do consider heading over to patreon.com forward slash today I found out. And as always, thank you for watching.